fought for different reasons battles or nectar for fear insecurity greed or even deceiving their own people by waging a war a dictator can redirect the people energy not against him uh, from against him to the enemy the so called enemy so dictators or uh, mostly the ruler who is so egoistic he creates conflicts or he imagines a conflict and go for war so that people are united against the enemy rather than the ruler so uh, we had world war 1 and 2 there is a big difference between them and now during world war there was no cameras like this or uh, in the mobile phones so anybody can take a video or a photo of anything happens there so all the tactical thinking and the equipment armory created during world war 1 and 2 were quite different because there was no live report of what was happening in the battlefield it comes later only after we dig deep into it we were able to found still but uh, now it's immediate so putin swar we we are seeing the media reports are immediate and whatever happens there is report so in the old type of war where deceit and lies were strewn around because uh, nobody can find out so at that time only these tanks and battle uh, weapons were created armory battle armories were created so the purpose of that is to go out and shoot as much as possible create a fear and no the target is not uh accurate it can kill civilians and they can go even and take possessions like a thief there so the people were thinking that's all uh, what time uh, it's allowed but, but it was not allowed but just because it was not unearth it was not proved that's why it went away without being punished now everything in is instantaneous and everything is found out as we are seeing now in ukraine and the war criminals each uh, one soldier is already under in uh, under uh, court proceeding so he may be if found what he did is wrong he will be punished so uh, what time and mm, normal time the rules of land are same if you are caught you'll be punished you'll be even killed or sentenced to life plan so in this we have to see the utility of the armory and uh, land based advancement all these things are uh, no it's very difficult so <laughs> billions and billions even trillions of dollars we are spending on these tanks and main battle tanks and armored vehicle and maintenance of the and we are paying for the soldiers uh, when uh, the net result what will happen is we have to go and shoot to take the land uh, and it's not accurate so it can it can take away the civilians or civilian building it will be uh, called what time crim you will be termed as what what time criminal if you are uh, killing civilians or taking away civilian possession you may be sued for the um, for the building so you destroyed so there is no uh, no use of these uh, tactics anymore the modern world with no 
the truth is prevailing so uh, truthfully i feel the modern uh, land based uh, warfare and we come back to the air force also that also do, does the same thing it can't pinpointedly a uh, target even if it is able to do even the battle tanks can do uh, pinpointed accuracy accur uh, that is only very costly effort those kind of weapons require a lot of investment and uh, production facilities that is very very special so we if we can't specifically hit then the war there is no war in that case we don't even need to go to the enemy land and there are many many tactical ways of doing it less costly affair for the world so military what we spend on military uh, could be even half to 1% of gdp uh, but still you can protect your land or you can ag be aggressive but the be aggression can be against a military uh, military facilities specifically but it can't be achieved definitely through the lot of investment we pour into the main battle tank armory all these things are they have lost their utility value so uh, i fervently play, played all the international defense organize the defense forces not to buy this kind of land based main battle tank or armored vehicle that's only a um the escalation of rebels you know you you take it the entire world become rebel but for no use for anybody else so is it better to take a building and borg line on that with the enemy or uh, if the enemy is coming to take away your building you can protect it and then you can negotiate is that easier rather than uh, just fight a war just for the war you know, in ukraine we are saying uh, ukraine is defending i know but russia is already destroying everything it destroys everything a village is destroyed a city is destroyed after that um, what is the use of saving that land we have to rebuild so the economic of that is not good for the enemy country as well as the um, defending country so why should we go to a war in this manner there are many 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 ways of approving your might in case Okay, there is a difference, a difference of opinion uh, in modern world. We can negotiate. Earlier times in uh, India, in uh, Tamil culture, Tamil kings, they send a warrior, a, a boxer, or a, um, some uh, who is good in one kind of war, uh, personal combat. So two people will. fight uh, one country will send one another country will send another they fight whoever wins so the other king or other group will abide by the uh, arguments of the other person so very easy thing it's uh, it doesn't cost much for the civilians civilians should not be disturbed should be the motive of all so all was was are not by people one uh, one country is not fighting with another country it is the ruler of the country fighting with the other other ruler of the other country so uh, it's a difference of opinion between them about what is good for their nation uh, now you see in russia the russian president uh, thinking and telling everybody that it this is good for russia eventually the war he initiated is proving to be disastrous for russia because the war didn't go the way he wanted he didn't annex anything 
and he lost so many weapons and soldiers and it's a loss for loss economically and all the sanctions of the west is affecting russia so rush from from the day the war started to now the russian economy is dwindling and it may be uh, like a african nation later when all the sanctions uh, come in i mean all the sanctions uh, might is felt in russia so already ruble uh, has moved from the open um, open market of open uh, currency basket of currencies to its uh, tied down to gold standard or something so he is going back just he is not allowing people to know his own people to know what is happening disaster for russia but uh, he is pretending so one ruler it is one ruler against a uh, country nation so these things are because the warfare is not properly determined war is about proving your point it it has to be argued if it is not argued if you want to do it mightily body so you do it with uh, you invent something and the other person can invent just make a uh, make a combat of those two units whoever wins uh, for that point he the other person has to abide so very easy we you don't cost the world but intelligently intelligently you can prove something or if you want to be doing uh, with mightiness it there are simulate simulative techniques that are available for the entire world we can adopt that so the the world will be peace physically uh, mentally also that the houses or buildings or civilians life will not be lost so fear should be out of the equation so anybody wants to create fear and thereby wanting to win over the yeah modern era doesn't allow as ukrainian uh, smaller yeah, smaller force proved that it is not about the number of uh, army personnel it is only the mind the mind said that i never uh, i love my country so i will do anything for this country that kind of so uh, injustice where somebody is not uh, wanting to be done with injustice they fight against injustice that's taking ukrainians uh, to maintain their uh, defense of their country so this is uh, this is an example for the entire world never allow your freedom to be compromised the world has shown that because they they tested their freedom they never want to give it away while uh, most of the russians didn't even know they are being spied each and every russian citizen or resident is being spied and under control of um, the government so same thing the other countries also want to follow taking an example from russia is even in india so many ways the government can and they use the other card or something to you know uh, understand everything about a citizen so what is why should government want to uh, know about each and every movement of you google and other searching services also help the government in that they may say they are not giving away the data but why they collect the data just for the sake of advertisement but the data is available it's that itself cannot be uh, said a safer environment for people okay so now the war need not be with this kind of weapon that's a massive massive waste on you know of money energy of people easier methodologies I, as i already said indicated this there's a lot uh one technique i thought the hundreds of ways a country can prove its mightiness that's not through this kind of arms i'm saying 
arms are possible but not this never even uh, i'm not talking about uh, so we are fearful of one thing what is that atomic weapon that's not a that's not an alternative uh, when you when you put in an atomic weapon the entire your country may also be attacked so it's not a win win situation it's a lose lose situation for both the countries in those lands where the atomic bomb were uh, were bombed there is no possibility of uh, humans for many 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 decades so that's a waste of our resources so that's not a yeah i i request all the nations to just uh, get away their nuclear arsenal so if one country has and the other country wants to do that so we do we have a easier means of achieving peace if you don't want peace if you want to have uh, difference of opinion and if you want to prove your point debates are there you convince convince the people if at all you want to take the might into your uh, equation to prove there are other ways of uh, proving without civilian or without so even we don't need this kind of soldiers this kind of number of soldiers uh, to defend a nation of land it can be very easy easily mechanically with so many ways are possible we do we can't follow what we started 70 years before because that is beneficial to russia as a arms manufacturer so he they want to improve upon say they don't allow us to think outside the square arms manufacturer so we we want to do away all arms and start different things that will not be uh, harming people harming civilian harming any national assets but only it will be symbolical so that's with symbolical we create a rule so symbolically you have to prove yourself then uh, your argument is one that's much easier said than done but uh, we have to think like that only no other go maybe um, hundreds of ways are there alex will explore it them one point i told now two points three points i told we'll discuss later more points thanks